Jim walks into the grocery store. He is committed to not buying a bunch of garbage this time around. We're going to eat right this year. Okay, maybe just one bag of chips. And beer. Beer is very important. Jim doesn't mind spending a lot on groceries. By the 40s, pretty much every experience you can think of can be delivered over the internet for cheap. From VR concerts to tourism to telecommuting, convincing digital equivalents are available for pretty much anything. There are just two big exceptions, food and sex. And since Jim is not getting a lot of the latter, he's fine plunking down a few bucks on these artisanal cheese puffs. He pinged the store on his way over through his Food Life app, and PickerBots have already filled a bag with his go-tos. Milk, eggs, ketchup, stuff like that. So Jim just has to pick out the fun stuff. He heads to the cereal aisle, but he can't find the lumberjacks. Everybody's got a digital assistant these days, so all you do when you have a question is say it aloud as if you're having a conversation with an imaginary friend. A few decades ago, that would have made you look like a crazy person, but by the 20s, pretty much everybody did it. Jeez, what do I need to fix this rash? Young Kurtzweil, is a hot dog a sandwich? Harambe, where are the lumberjacks? Right here, Jim. Harambe helpfully guides Jim over to the lumberjacks, adding an overlay that only Jim can see through his augmented reality contacts. He picks up the box and scans through the nutrition facts. Jim loves his AR contacts, but the banner ads are the worst. They're tailored to his interests and track his gaze. So when his lizard brain makes him pause on that cute redhead trying to sell him the high fiber cereal, that data is sent back to advertisers, which means more ads for fiber and more redheads. It's all a bit weird, but allowing the ads get some cheaper groceries, so he just deals with it. And he gets the high fiber cereal. It's very important to stay regular. He walks over to the produce aisle. CRISPR and other gene editing techniques have led to all kinds of new fruit and veggies in the last 20 years. The term superfoods used to just be a marketing buzzword, but these are the real thing. Long-lasting tomatoes that explode with the flavor of actual tomatoes. This batch of purple tomatoes produce extra lycopene, which gives them a boost of antioxidants. This kelp tastes exactly like bacon. These instant avocados ripen on demand when you whisper the magic word to them. Oh, dip. All superfood produce are engineered to require less water, light, and nutrients than conventional fruits or vegetables, which is good given the long-running droughts that have been going on, and all the scrutiny and politics around water use these days. And since they're grown locally in a vertical farm right above this store, their shipping costs and environmental impact are pretty much non-existent. GM foods still cause some controversy, but decades of use and billions of meals later, it became clear that they were cheaper, more environmentally friendly, and just as healthy, if not more so, than regular produce. So consumers voted with their wallets, and now GM foods are on most Americans' plates. The protein aisle has its fair share of GM foods too. Jim is partial to these big-ass shrimp. But the greatest advances have come with animal-free cultured meat. There's nothing fake about this meat. That is real meat from animals, just grown without the rest of the animal. It had to overcome a certain ick factor, but cultured meat solves a bunch of problems. As the world's population surged past 9 billion in 2040, people in the emerging first world countries demanded Western style diets, and that meant more meat. But since every pound of beef requires about 200 gallons of water, it was impossible to meet the demand for meatier diets while the world was dealing with a water crisis. Cultured meat was cheaper, healthier, and had the same flavor as real meat, but needed a lot less water, energy, and space than a cow. It also didn't fart methane, which is a plus. So cultured beef is a much more humane, if a bit weird, way to make a burger. And once the water tax made real ground beef a luxury food, cultured meat took over. Other types of protein became more common too. Almost all store-bought fish is farmed in aquaculture these days. And then came the bugs. Lean and loaded with protein, cold-blooded insects require a lot less energy and water than beef. And Jim makes dope cricket tacos. Jim asks the meat bot for a half pound of cricket strips and two big ass shrimp. Bots like this have made many customer service jobs obsolete. Everybody gets a basic income to counteract the job crisis, but it's still causing society-wide existential angst, since more than a third of the population suddenly have a lot more time on their hands. And if your identity is tied up in your job, what happens when that job disappears? The flip side is that people, like Jim, have a lot more time to cook. Jim has everything he needs, so he heads to grab the bag the picker bots filled for him. The pastry printer is strategically positioned right by the door, piping out the aroma of fresh brownies and cupcakes flash baked in 2000 degree heat. This 3D printer has all the raw ingredients to make any dessert on demand, including that chocolate peanut butter brownie Jim loves. He says screw it, orders two, and watches as the 3D printer starts etching the brownie layers one by one just like grandma used to print. Jim heads to the door. The price scanner in the door instantly charges his credit card for everything in his bags. Jim heads home to cook up those tacos. It's not like he has anything else to do that day.
If you want more videos like this, the best thing you can do is to please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot. I want to know what all of you think. Uh, where do you think the future of food is going? I'm pretty excited about the prospect of cultured meat and GM produce. Let me know what you think in the comments and feel free to leave ideas for topics you want me to cover in future episodes. And as always, see you in the future.